Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Um, as you can see, we're already out and about. Only this time we're on the newest addition to the Moto Peak Garage, which I've hinted at for literally probably every video that I've posted on a motorcycle. I bought a Supermoto finally. And this is really my first time out on it, so I'm just kind of banging around town here, trying to get the feel of it. But what we have here is a 2008 WR250X. I bought it off of a gentleman up in Altoona, Pennsylvania, which was about a 13 and a half hour round trip. If you watched the video from yesterday on the Harbor Freight motorcycle carrier that I used to transport this uh, Supermoto, uh, you would have seen it. If not, go check that video out. But we're just kind of riding around, getting a feel for this thing. I'm actually going to head up to the local airport just because it's awesome up there and give you kind of a walk around on everything in this bike, uh, show you what it needs, uh, what it's got, and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to stop talking and just enjoy the ride on this uh, WR250X Supermoto. definitely a different feeling being on especially since I'm used to the CRF 450X kind of how it handles being on a uh, upright sitting position with street tires is definitely an awesome experience I can see the appeal of these supermotos um, I didn't used to but I watched do it Dan and his DRZ 450 Jake the Garden Snake chase with his WR 250X I think Yummy R6 had one at one time but Chase is a uh, white one, man. That's what I aspire this bike to be. It does need some work. I mean, if you can see, it's got like a broken uh, clutch perch, stuff like that. I think the bars are a little bent, levers a little bent, because I think that he has either laid this bike down or just dropped it. But overall, for what I gave to it, for it, it was definitely well worth it. And I've got some room to uh, put some money into it if I have to. But I'll go over all the good and the bad when I get up there. But this is definitely a different sensation of speed if you never rode a supermoto. Um, 40 miles per hour on this is a lot different than 40 miles per hour just say on my R1 or my Hayabusa. On those street bikes, it doesn't feel like you're really going anywhere at 40 miles an hour. I guess because those bikes are such top end, but on this, I guess where it's so torquey, I mean, this I'm doing 53 miles per hour right now, and it feels like I'm absolutely flying. And I guess that has a lot to do with you being upright in the wind and getting all the wind resistance. hit by a leaf anyway this is our turn right here we're going to turn and go up toward the airport there's something called fire and ice going on up here i'm not sure if it's today good lord in first gear not sure if it's today or what it is but it's some kind of like beer and chili thing i don't think we've ever had this here before i'm kind of hoping that it's not going on today but it is friday so there's a good chance this is the first day of it if that's the case, we'll go somewhere else and I'll give you kind of the highs and lows of this bike, but... <coughs> Sorry, I've still got bronchitis, so I'm going to cough all the time. But anyway, I'll give you the highs and lows of this bike, what it needs, what I'm going to do, the plans for it, because I'm going to do a whole build series on this bike. Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to do any more performance mods, as it's got a couple already, but it's going to be more like aesthetic things, new plastics, graphics things like that <coughs> goodness gracious 
also want to learn how to ride wheelies on this. I've rode bikes for a long time, but I've never been able to do a wheelie, and I kind of want to learn how. And everybody said wheeling a supermoto is easier than wheeling, wheeling like my R1, so I'm going to try it out. But judging by the fact that there's actually traffic on this road right now, I'm going to assume that this chili and beer thing is like currently going on. Because I've been up and down this a lot, and unless you work at the airport or for our local aeromedical services, air evac, you usually don't come up this road too awfully much. open this time so that's awfully nice I almost got stuck up here once but I have the code to it now so it's not nearly as bad I don't see anything set up so I don't know if it's like set up yet hey Jimmy how you doing buddy Hey guys, so we got the thumbnail. Uh, you see me ride up here, so now I'm gonna go over the good and the bad of this bike. Like I said, it's a 2008 WR250X. Bought it off a gentleman in Altoona, Pennsylvania for a pretty good price. It's got 11,980 miles as of just now. And it's got some good, it's got some bad, but I thought that the price outweighed what it actually needed. So this is kind of the bike kind of a quick walk around I've already put my decals on it from the channel added the Yamaha M sticker to the front uh, my Moto P logo on the front and the sides as well as kind of the uh, YouTube uh, link I guess not really a link because you can't click it it's not going to take you to my YouTube channel anyway it lets you know what it is so for the good I'll start out with the good is it was an awesome price and it's got the FMF Powerbomb header. It's got the FMF Q4 exhaust. Uh, it does have newer brake rotors on it. The tires are somewhat new. The front's gonna need replaced um, pretty soon. Should get me through the rest of the season. It's got a Power Commander that is mounted here. I'm actually gonna relocate it just because when you turn full lock to the left, it actually touches it. Um, other than that, it's pretty much stock down to the factory landing gear on the back. Now for the bad, as you can see, going back, it is going to need tires. It needs cleaned up a little bit down through here, kind of degreased and gone over. Uh, it does have a small rip in the seat. It needs a set of grips because this one right here, like I said, I think this bike has fell over or went down, something like that, because this one's all black taped. Uh, this lever is bent, as you can see, but it still works incredibly fine. Coming over here, it needs bar ends. I'm not sure if these come with bar ends. I assume it does since it has the hole there. And it's going to need a clutch perch and probably a set of handlebars just because it looks like they are slightly bent right in that area. But overall, the bike is in very good shape given what price I paid for this bike. So that being said, I'm going to get out of this airport just because I think they do have that chilly thing about to happen and it is like 89 degrees standing on this asphalt. Probably hotter than that honestly because it's 89 degrees outside and the sun is just blaring down. That's why I'm pouring the sweat. But guys, um, you're going to see a lot more of the Supermoto on the channel. So if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy my content. And I'll see you guys on the next video.